happy Sunday. I really, <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Hope you had a good Saturday night last night. Had fun, stayed safe. We had a good time at Knuckleheads with the crew and all of our old ladies. Uh, still not going to say I quit. Today we'll make day 11 without a cigarette. Leave it at that. See what happens. Uh, this morning, <laughs> I had a few messages on here. You know. A few of you know me. You've known me for quite some time. Safe to say, a few years in some cases. You know what I'm about. You know why I'm on here. I'm not trying to make a name for myself. I'm not trying to make money. I'm not trying to build a channel. I'm not begging for subs and views like other people. <laughs> you know, I don't prostitute my family and friends for the sake of getting attention. I leave them out of YouTube. I don't show off what I have because it's mine. I paid for it. It's nothing special. You know, they're out in society. Other people own these things. Nothing really worth bragging about, you know. And you know how I mock a lot of YouTube bullshit. And I mock a lot of people because they are trying to make a name for themselves. They do want to be popular. They do want to make a buck. They do prostitute family and friends and use family and friends for whatever way they can get attention to get those fucking views and make some money. And they fuck around with junk and portray them as classic muscle cars. <laughs> I don't have to explain this. I know a few of you have come along, have no clue what I'm about. Hey, you know, if you want to stick around, it's up to you. But I'll tell you right now, it's going to be a bumpy fucking ride, okay? <laughs> you may not want to know what I'm about. Uh, I tell you, it's felt like it is, whether you like it or not. And at times, I, I talk about how, you know, it really doesn't take much these days to interest people in things. You know, in the car community, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. So many guys on here with their fucking chunk and will it stop, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Pulled this out of the woods, has been washed in 40 years. We're going to wash it for the first time. Gee, I can't wait to see that shit. I'm going to drop all my fucking plans when your next video comes out. I got to see that, you know what I mean? Wonder why I make fun of this shit and mock it. <laughs> Something happened yesterday that proves my fucking point. <laughs> yesterday afternoon uh, Auntie Billy at times She'll order shit And I got FedEx, UPS, Postal Service Pulling up with shit and, Hey Brian uh, I got something coming in today from, Wal from Walmart I says oh yeah I says why How come you just didn't go and fucking get it You know, We got one in Fairhaven and we got one in Dartmouth Not Dartmouth each one's about 20 minutes away. You know. She says, ah, it was free, it was free shipping. <laughs> I figured if I'm going to, you know, jump in my car and go there, it's going to take a good 20 minutes to get there. Burn all my gas and waiting in traffic and my time, you know. It wasn't worth it. It was, you know, next day delivery. Because they have it in store. And what they do is they pay a Uber driver when they're within a certain range, mile range. North Dartmouth and Fairhaven, Massachusetts here. We're in New Bedford, down on the Fort Tabor Peninsula by West Beach. So, <laughs> she says, hey, uh, they sent me a, a email for the tracking. Can you go check up on me? So I grab her phone. I go look. And I see the email, and I see it's on its way. She says, hey, it's on its way. And I've never seen that before. I don't order shit from Walmart. I have no fucking idea. I don't know about tracking apps and all that shit. I've ordered a few things. I get at UPS and FedEx. They send it to me in a text message, not an email. You know, with delivery times and whatnot. And first time I ever saw this, I grab a phone and I'm looking. I just say, it's on its way. It's going to be here in like a fucking minute. You know? And I never seen that. It showed like a little fucking map of the area. <laughs> it wasn't real detailed as if it was high definition. 
global satellite tracking GPS, like, you know, <laughs> but it can do heat seeking. You'll find out if someone's in a fucking building with a glow, you know what I mean? Kind of primitive, but I never seen nothing like that. Everything I've always got when I bought it, it shows, you know, auto placed, prepared on its way. And then when it gets delivered, usually they knock at the door. Sometimes they just leave it. And within a second, I get a, another tech showing me a picture. Your package was delivered and it shows whether it's, you know, on my front door and on my back door. It's always usually at the front. Uh, <laughs> And I see this little fucking car travel, and I'm like, what the fuck? I thought it was fucking hysterical. So I grab my phone, and I go back to it, and I hit tracking again, and I recorded it on my phone. And I thought it was fucking hysterical. And I posted it here on a shot. It lasted all of like 10 fucking seconds. And I said, fuck it, I'm going to post this, right? And I put it up as a video, a short. I don't think I've ever done a short in here. I don't know. And, uh, it got like 500 and over, over 500 fucking views. And I'm like, really? Is that what it took <laughs> to get some fucking attention from people on YouTube to watch a 10 second clip of me filming something? on my phone, off my girlfriend's phone, showing a little fucking cards traveling from North Dartmouth Mall to our house here on the Fort Tabor Peninsula. I guess that proves my point. It really doesn't take much to fucking throw people here on YouTube. <laughs> have a great day. Have fun and stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow for a happy Monday video.